Hello everybody and welcome to the, another episode of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. I went ahead and took the liberty of clearing this room out and I got this Morning Star which is really awesome. Uh, it does 9 to 13 damage. Whereas previously I was doing 2 to 8 or something like that. 1 to 8 I think actually. So this is a much bigger improvement. Guaranteed 9 damage. Guaranteed. So that is a massive improvement from what we had before. Let's test it out. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is so much better. We're going to go left to begin with. Oh, look at that. So much better than my the dagger I was using. So glad I found this. This was in, this was in a chest. Look at that. That is just so much better. It's worth quite a bit of money as well. It's worth like 2000 But I decided there was way more of it. Wow, what the hell was that? It just disappeared. It is a mace of disruption, so I think it does have some kind of um, special ability. I'm not quite sure what that ability does, but I think we just got a glimpse of it just there. So even though I've got a powerful mace, I can't get cock. Oh yeah, I think it does like a random chance to just make an enemy disappear or something like that from what I'm gathering. So even though it's awesome, I do have to watch. I can't get cocky. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go around this hallway here and clear this hallway out. Oh, this morning star is amazing. And I've still got, I've got like 4,000 gold as well. I'm stocked up on potions. Things are good. <coughs> I can use potions a little bit more freely now. Without, see, see these naked zombies? It's these naked zombies that are doing a lot of the damage. <coughs> I genuinely can't put this game down. Oh, I accidentally used a potion there. Like, seriously, I've only made her call two today because I do have stuff to do. But here I am, this is my fifth uh, video and I might even do a six. Probably will do a six, to be honest. Okay, so obviously, we're going to clear this room out just so we know, know that it's cleared when we come back here. More chests, so more potions. Awesome. But now we're going to go around down here and get all the... because all the experience... I need all the experience. Awesome. Can't believe it was taking me so long to kill those the, these zombies and scales before with the dagger. It was like, oh, I'm out of room. Wow. Okay. How am I out of room? Seriously, how am I? How am I out of room? Right. What the hell? Right. Oh, my arrows take up quite a lot of space because I've got 147 of them. I always should sell a bunch of them. <coughs> oh, I think I'm gonna have to make a trip. I'm gonna have to make a trip back to Elf Song. I'm afraid. This is annoying. Let's clear out this room before I do that. If I can use some of my potions from this fight, then we're golden. Right, okay. Right. Room cleared. Now I'm going to have to make a trip to Elfsong and sell stuff. Can okay, I pick up anything? This is annoying. Right, so I will be heading... I will head, I will cut out, oh no, never mind, we've got more combat. I wish there was a way to increase your carrying capacity. That, that would be great. Right, I'm going to go to El Song, sell some stuff and be right back, guys. Alright guys, we're back. Check this out, I got myself a Masterwork short bow. I still only have about 40, 40 space in my inventory. 
because the combination of all my armor and potions is quite high. But I did get a really good short bow. So we're gonna be testing this out. Oh, what's this? This looks like a boss area. This is bodies just mashed into the ground. I'm pretty confident we're in a really good position at this point. There's the orb. But I don't want to do the orb. That looks like Kessler. So this is definitely the final area of the game. And there's going to be a boss fight here, no doubt. <coughs> So let's do it, let's approach the orb. Orb, oh, that's the orb is the boss fight. But that looks like it's gonna be a... Uh... Definitely, saw that coming. Okay. Fight off waves of the undead, awesome. <coughs> That's a lot of undead though. How am I gonna... <coughs> Come on. Right, let's do damage against this thing. I can't, I can't damage... <laughs> I probably have to do damage that way. I oh no, I don't. I thought I needed to like be behind those pillars when that I was doing its like radius attack. But I was just being full of crap. <clears throat> That's a lot of undead, though. Come on, guys! I can do this all day. <clears throat> Oh Jesus, that was did a lot of damage. Whoa, 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 well, these guys are doing tons of damage, what the hell? <coughs> uh, so I can just like stand here and just wail on this thing until it goes back up? Yeah, I can. Then I've got to run away uh, and fight. Oh, can I like? Oh, can I like? No, I can't. That would be too. That would be too easy if I could wheel these guys into a particular corner. <coughs> could you just like farm these guys for experience? I'm assuming you could. <coughs> so just because of how many there is, it's actually a decent fight. They do a lot of damage when they do hit you. These are like elite skeletons or something like that. It's an open area so you can't really... Like, get them into one particular spot. Come on. Right, let's try and take these guys on. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Did you see how much damage I took there? Jesus. These guys are boss. Right, I've got it down to the, the orb part. It's in like at the final area. So we've almost won. I'm gonna let this video go on to 25 minutes. <coughs> I spent about 5 minutes going to the other song, so... I should let this video go on to about 30. Or maybe I won't, maybe I won't. We'll see. See how I feel. I do have stuff to do though, so... Two health potions left, yay! I don't know how you would do this fight. I guess you would, uh, 
I guess the other classes would have their own abilities that you could draw upon. <coughs> right, do I seriously have one healing potion? Yes, I do. Tons of uh, rejuvenating potions, not that many healing potions. Oh, come on! This is it. The orb is down! Down! Orb is down! You're so dead, right? Booyah! Level up! Through the end of the crypt, through the sewers, and place the orb here. Someone did this horrid act on purpose? All those deaths, who would wish us such harm? Probably some evil guy that wants to take over the world, probably. This is grave news. Oh, grave news! Oh, I see what you did there. Grave news. Hmm. Yeah, I deserve more than a small a reward. We will contact you should we learn anything. I better not be going there. Sh okay, good. I'm not going there straight away because I've got. I want to pick up all the stuff from here. I'm with protection. Awesome. Right, I don't want to do that just now. Oh well, I guess I have to. Oh, I finally get access to a new spell: Melf's Acid Arrow. A magical arrow of acid springs from your hand and speeds to its target dealing acid damage. So about 8, 18 damage? Hmm. I should probably... Hmm. I will cost every... I guess it's worth it. To get a new spell. Let's test it out. Okay, so it takes about 7.50 energy per second, damage 17 per second. F oh! It's actually way better than Magic Missile, although Magic Missile now does 3. Whereas this just goes... So it's basically... It's basically another version of Magic Missile. Let's just go and pick up and collect all the stuff that those um, the undead dropped. <clears throat> so we've got a new spell, we've got a decent amount, we've still got some experience left, because we were quite close to levelling up when we beat that orb. And we found out what happened to that guy. He died because he was an idiot and trusted the wrong person. There's nothing we can do with the body. But I'm assuming we can complete that um, side quest now. Now if I just go back to Elf Song. Right, what did I get? I did get an Amulet of Protection. Yeah, I'll take that over the Amulet of Dexterity. <clears throat> Did I get anything else from here? Ah, crappy. Studied leather gloves. Eh, nothing really much. No, pretty much nothing else. Ha, take that orb. Oh, a club. I've got a club as well. Right. I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna use the recall potion to take us back to the tavern. Already? Really? Already you're here with more information? Talk to Jeheric. I don't want to talk to Jeheric. I want to talk to Asala. Please. Leave me be. I want no trouble. So, about your man. I knew it. And my bones. And my heart I knew. Thank you, stranger, for setting my mind at ease. At 
least I know his fate. He gave me this to hold for him until we were together again. But I have no use for it now. Here, you have it. Keep it. And hopefully it will serve you and keep you from his fate. I'm probably going to sell this, whatever it is. No, sorry about that, but I'm probably going to sell it. A ring of protection. I already have a ring of protection. Right, what about you, Lord? Can you do anything? No. Who is that? That's a new person over here. Um, Kiara. I wouldn't spend too much time with me, stranger. Let's move on. Unless my misfortune attached itself to you. Surely you've heard of the thieves plaguing Baldur's Gate? Well, one of them waylaid the merchant caravan I was guarding while we were less than a league from Baldur's Gate. They came upon us in the night, slaughtered several guards, and made off with most of the caravan's goods, including a box of rare spices from Om. I was hoping that I could track down the thieves and set the matter right by at least recovering the box of spices. But since coming to the city, I've had no luck tracking down their guild. You're kind, stranger, but I fear that you'll have as little luck as I've had. Carry my best wishes with you in any event. Uh, listen, mate. Listen. <clears throat> Did you clear out an entire temple's crypts worth of undead and save the city? Nope, you didn't. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have better luck than you. But that's another side quest. I think so. I think that's the way this game works: is that you get all your quests, side quests included, at the hub area. Thanks. So I'm pretty sure this is how this game works. Now, do you have any? I'm going to sell some stuff to you. Damn right. Right. Do you have any? Eh, right. I like how <laughs> I like how he did a zombie motion. That is hilarious. See, I already have a ring of protection, but just I'll sell my current one and and, and wear the one she gave me, just because I want. To, I don't want to sell it. I feel bad. What was I buying? Oh yeah, I was buying some more healing potions. And having a look, do you have anything? I could upgrade to scale mill, but look at that, 30. My current one is 17, so even though it's quite like heavy armor, I guess it's I guess it's what you have to trade, I guess, for more protection. Do you have any better weapons? These haven't really changed. <clears throat> Right, so I don't think he's going to be changing. No, that's not like I can go up. Why can't I go up? Right, what about Alice? you have anything to say? It looks like your deeds are drawing some attention. That man in robes over in the corner told me he wanted to speak with you when you returned. He's been speaking with Ethan for the past few hours. He knew that he wanted to speak with you. Well, I am kind of saving the entire town from disaster, like, every time I leave the tavern, so... I mean, yeah, I think I deserve a little bit of fame. Right, now let's put on that ring of protection. Yeah, we are kitted out, man. We are good to go. Yo, Jaherik. Oh, let's spot to Ethan first. Friend, I have someone who wants to meet you. My associate. <clears throat> well met, adventurer. Ethan has told me of how you rescued him in the sewers. And I have already heard of your bravery in the Shrine of Suffering. I decided that I would see this hero for myself. I am not disappointed. I hope you shall not disappoint me. One thing I want to make note of is that I love the fact that in this in conversations in this game, like the conversation like this, is like each conversation has been like individually animated. Like so for instance, when we were in the crypt with Feed and he did the there are three, the the, the bronze, the silver and the gold. They actually animated him in to do like the one, two, three motion with his hand while he said that. So if you go back and watch it, you see that's really cool. And then earlier on, when Alice like paid us for like clearing the sewers, she like made a motion. She pulled out the money from like in between her like breasts essentially. 
And that, I love that. I love that. R- R- it's much better than the generic, like, same animations and things like Kotar and Kotar 2 and stuff like that. Your actions in the temple showed great courage and sacrifice. A willingness to risk your life to protect others. An admirable quality. Ethan and I are members of the Harpers. A group whose members have dedicated their lives to the safety of the realms and its people. I invite you to join us. We seek men and women of courage to band with us to protect the realms when the realms cannot protect itself. And as a harper, you will have our support. We will do what we can to help you and the realms. We are in need of your help against a grave threat to Baldur's Gate. What say you? No thanks, I prefer to work on my own. This is interesting. This is the first time I've actually been given a decision. But I'm obviously going to join. That's, that sounds like something I want to do. What is it? Of course, of course you need me to do something for you. The orb you encountered in the temple was placed there for a reason. It was intended to sow chaos, to distract the city watch in order to allow another group to operate free. Let me guess, the Thieves Guild. The dead man you found in the room with the orb is a thief. He was a member of a... You might want to keep it down, man. I mean, her, that thief's friend is like right over there. declared war on the existing Baldur's Gate Thieves Guild. In the past few days, many of the old guild's members have vanished. Dead, most likely. That may be asking too much. <coughs> Our greatest concern to us is the rumor of powerful magic backing this guild. Perhaps a mage, or several mages. The power of the orb in the Shrine of Suffering is proof of this. Whatever the source of this new guild's strength, we would like you to infiltrate the guild and find out who or what is behind it. Excellent. Another agent of ours tracked one of the thieves to a secret guild entrance below the city. It's a secret door on the first level of the sewers in the northeast section. We have no idea how to open the door, however. It bears a special enchantment that is proof against most magics. Oh, we have well, conveniently we have a key. Let me see it. Ah, yes, a curious item. It seems to bear a minor enchantment that dispels shadows, but the enchantment in the key is dormant. Perhaps its close proximity to the orb disrupted the enchantment. I may be able to awaken it. Ah, there we are. It should function as intended now. Simply bring it close to the secret door in the sewers. The key will reveal the door and allow you to open it. Please be careful. These thieves have already killed some of the city watch. They will not hesitate to kill you if you're discovered. So there we go, we have a new thing to do. So we're actually going to go straight to the thieves guild in this episode. So what did he say? Right, we uh, find out the hidden entrance in the northeast part of the upper sewers. So the first entrance, okay, so down to the cellar. What happened in the temple? Why do the priests still live? I do not know, my lord. Sir. I have heard rumors that the orb was destroyed before it could do more than slay a few priests. By whom? I do not know for certain, my lord, but I think my thieves and I may have met the attacker on the city streets above. If they were one of your victims, how is it this creature still lives? The city watch came upon us as we were about to deal the killing blows, my lord. We were forced to flee to avoid being captured. Your oversight has cost us much, Khan. Gather the soldiers. Although our secret entrances still remain undetected, it's only a matter of time before the dogs of the City Watch sniff us out, and we must be prepared for them. I will see to it at once, my lord. Khan, if the creature who destroyed the orb should make its way here... It shall not come to that, my lord. I swear it. Holy hell! 
fail me in this, I should attend to the matter. That's that's a faking beholder. That 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 is a beholder. Well, 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 well. Let's blow these things up. Ah, that makes you feel better about seeing that beholder. Right, so we are about to begin assaulting the Thieves Guild, and as it turns out, Karn is taking orders from a goddamn beholder. So that's pretty <coughs> reminiscent of the Elfsong Tavern beholder. Still a bit of a foreshadowing kind of thing. But we're going to save and end the episode because this episode has went on a little bit long. It's been on to 35 minutes, but guaranteed a lot. There's about 10 minutes or so has uh, been cut out. So, thanks guys for watching this episode of Badgers Get Dark Alliance. I hope you have enjoyed. I have enjoyed, definitely. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, please like and subscribe uh, to my. Like. Oh, Jesus. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's not an intro. That's. Intro. Outro. I swear, I've been doing YouTube videos for more than just five seconds, guys. I've been doing it for at least two years now. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more content from me, Vidin85. If you want to get in touch with me, leave a comment in the comment section below, or go to any of the social media and the social media links in the description box below. I always read and reply to messages. Thanks guys for watching. As always, as always, it was a pleasure to have you. Hope to see you next time. Take care.